ladies and gentlemen, you can't see me thanks to a phenomenon known as shark skin. I'm not talking about the skin of a real shark, but to give it its technical term, melt fracture, potential surface defect in plastic film production, which can cause expensive scrap rates. Here in Antwerp, Belgium, 3M manufactures polymer processing additives, which were designed to solve this problem. This lab scale line is used to investigate with the process of blown film extrusion. Here, it's possible to replicate the issues that face much larger scale production lines. So, Kim, what is this melt fracture or shark skin that I mentioned? First of all, I give you the safety glasses. So basically, pressure fluctuations at the dye, they cause a slipstick effect, which actually uh, causes the film to rupture, hence the term melt fracture. With trends towards thinner, tougher plastic film, the stress on the emerging melt is increased. I get it. So, let's have a look at how Dynamar works. Dynamar coats the metal surface in the die, reducing friction and drastically lowering the drag at the die exit. This eliminates melt fracture. And look at the result, a nice transparent glossy film. And fortunately, PPAs do not change any surface properties like printing and sealing. So actually, you only need this amount of Dynamar to treat this much of polymer. I see. And your slogan, add a little, get a lot. Here, we have three extruders attached to the film tower. 3M is really excited to have this new installation, which can produce a film with three layers. This is very important, as the film industry is moving more and more towards multi-layer architecture. This brings the potential for another kind of problem, interfacial instability. Oh no, as if shark skin weren't enough, you might say. So during the extrusion of a multi-layer film with different polymers and thicknesses, the polymer streams can join at different speeds, creating turbulence or interfacial instability. The resulting film would be rejected due to its poor appearance. So how can Dynamar PPA help here? Well, that's why 3M invested in this setup. Dynamar can help synchronize the layering, but it's not straightforward knowing which layers require PPA. Fortunately, just as in a single layer, Dynamar doesn't affect the surface properties, so the adhesion of the layers remains unaffected. All of these solutions affect our day-to-day -day lives. Take a look at these apples. Would you buy them? I wouldn't. The poor quality of the packing film makes them look inferior. But these apples, wrapped in high-quality packing film, look just delicious. And this isn't the only example of packaging looking much better with Dynamar. So, if you'd like to improve output and avoid melt fracture, dye buildup, interfacial instability, gel formation, bubble instability and surface defects, and if you want to know which layers it's best to add Dynamar polymer processing additives to, then come to 3M. With the Dynamar PPA, 3M has found a solution for all of these problems.